The SFMTA is recognizing Black history in the Bay. We all love our national heroes like Rosa Parks, Sergeant Nora Truth, Ida B. Wells, and Elizabeth Jennings Graham in leading the way for equal rights in transportation. But did you know San Francisco has its own heroes in public transportation? Born in 1839 in Maryland to a father who was enslaved and a seamstress mother, Charlotte Brown and her family relocated to San Francisco by 1860 during the gold rush and became part of the city's black middle class. On April 17, 1863, Charlotte had the doctor's appointment. Those are very important to all of us to keep her health in check. Instead of helping her to get to her appointment, the San Francisco Streetcar Company, Omnibus Railroad Company, denied her a ride on the streetcar as racial segregation was legal at the time. Often, Charlotte hid her blackness to ride the streetcars through means of wearing a veil. But on this day, Charlotte bravely responded and said no. She said she had a right to ride and had no intention of leaving the car. Instead of accommodating Charlotte, a paying customer, the streetcar company forcibly removed her from the car. Charlotte Brown and her father brought a lawsuit against the Omnibus Railroad Company, and they won. Meanwhile, just three days after the first trial, Brown was ejected from yet another streetcar. Can you imagine? She then brought a second suit against Omnibus. On October 5, 1864, from Charlotte's case, Judge Orville C. Pratt ruled that excluding passengers from streetcars because of their race was illegal. He called this discriminatory practice a relic of barbarism. The Charlotte Brown case paved the way for other cases brought by San Francisco's African Americans. For example, entrepreneur and abolitionist Mary Ellen Pleasant challenged whites only practices and successfully attacked racial discrimination in San Francisco as she began a series of court battles to fight laws prohibiting blacks from riding trolleys and other buses. In 1866, she with other black women were ejected from a city street car. She filed the lawsuit against the Omnibus Railroad Company and another against North Beach and Mission Railroad Company which went to the California Supreme Court. The case outlawed segregation in San Francisco's public transportation system. In 1893, streetcar segregation was officially outlawed on statewide streetcars by the California legislature. After Charlotte Brown won her case, Senator Charles Sumner invoked the case in Congress as setting an important precedent for racial equality when he argued in favor of integrating streetcars in the nation's capital. Thank you to our local San Francisco activists for pioneering racial equity in transportation. This information was delivered to you by the San Francisco Municipal Transportation Agency. The SFMTA is recognizing black history in the Bay. Charlotte B and Mary P, many thanks to you, fighting for equality. SFMTA, recognizing black history in the Bay. Charlotte B and Mary P, many thanks to you, fighting for equality. SFMTA, recognizing black history in the Bay. We all know Rosa, we all know Sojourner, Ida B and Elizabeth Jennings. They led the way in transportation rights. Since the beginning, they led the fight. But San Francisco has its own heroes like Charlotte B and Mary P. They've been fighting for equality, doing it since 1863. They caused some tension among politicians, just wanted them to make better decisions. Refusing discrimination on our public transportation. Time to awake, you know, time for pretending when the world was sinning. They took them companies to court, ended up winning. Never ever timid, like, no, we mean business. Practice what they preached, made a strong finish. Charlotte B and Mary P, many thanks to you, fighting for equality. SFMTA. Recognizing black history in the Bay Charlotte B and Mary P Many thanks to you Fighting for equality SFMTA Recognizing black history in the Bay 
Like I said, no pain, no gain. Judge O.C. Pratt was down for the cause, exposing racism, changing the laws, allowing people to reach for the stars. Transportation is for all. In 1893, it was all outlawed. Ended it with no hesitation. Discrimination statewide on public transportation. Yeah, thank you, Charlotte B. and Mary P. Changing lives, fighting for equality. Now reach for the stars, transportation is for all. 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 Yeah, come on.